Based off both their efficiency from behind the arc and their value as pure snipers, this video I'm ranking the top 10 NBA three-point shooters of 2020. Remember that some of the usually most efficient shooters in the league like Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant, and any other players who were injured won't qualify for this list. With that being said, let's jump right into the best snipers from this past year. Number 10, Davis Bertans. Months after he was the first NBA player to opt out of the restart in the bubble, soon-to-be free agent forward Davis Bertans has explained his decision not to play in his own words, saying, quote-unquote, of course, one of the main ones, I guess, is that I was an upcoming free agent and we were put in a position as very unlikely to make the playoffs to risk an injury after not playing basketball and not really working out for almost two months was not smart. That was the main reason. Also, the chance of not seeing my family for a month and a half, all those things together made me decide not to go. That last point about players not having their families there is the reason why the NBA will be back in arenas next year with fans in some, hopefully all states, once the season returns. But Davis Bertans was certainly missed in Washington's eight bubble games as the Wizards finished one and seven. The Latvian laser Bertans is one of the best stretch bigs across the entire league. In the six game month of March, which was the end of his season, Davis averaged 20 points per game on nearly 48% from three point range. And overall on the year in 54 games played, he shot 42.4% from behind the arc, good enough for sixth best in the NBA. He'll certainly be a hot commodity in free agency. Number nine, Nemanja Bialica. The Kings may have had another losing season, but fans in Sacktown witnessed one of the more shocking campaigns of 2019-20 from a player. Nemanja Bialica posted the ninth best three-point percentage among all NBA players and backed up his nickname of Professor Big Shots in the process. Nemanja earned that nickname in his EuroLeague days and by hitting ridiculously clutch daggers all throughout the 2020 season in Sacramento, you can call him Professor Big Shots anytime you want. A stretch big of his caliber in the modern NBA is an extremely valued asset. Number eight is Gary Trent Jr. The 21-year-old Blazer guard shot an NBA ninth best 41.8% from three-point range during the regular season, but in the bubble specifically was where 2018's 37th overall draft pick Trent Jr. took his game to the next level. Gary made at least four three-point shots in six of the eight seeding games in the bubble, which was highlighted by a career-high 27-point night where he shot seven of 10 from distance and 10 of 15 overall from the field against the Denver Nuggets. Also, one of Trent Jr.'s games where he made at least four three-pointers was in Portland's playoff play-in game against the Grizzlies, so the sophomore sniper is well beyond his years and isn't too young to step up in the clutch. Number seven, Contavious Caldwell-Pope. For being the Lakers' most reliable three-point shooter in their championship run, KCP more than earns his spot amongst the top 10 shooters of 2020. Throughout the playoffs, along with being Lake Show 2.0's third scorer, Caldwell Pope took the second most three-point attempts per game of any Laker behind LeBron. But despite the volume of Pope's three-point attempts from distance, he was only a few percentage points behind Anthony Davis and Rajon Rondo for being the title-winning Lakers' most efficient distance shooter. KCP's impact has been under-talked about, but who knows where the Lakers would be without Pope's floor spacing and timely distance daggers. Contavious has proved himself as one of the better 3 and D players in the entire NBA. Number six, Joe Harris. After game two of Brooklyn's first round series against Toronto, Harris was forced to leave the NBA bubble due to a personal matter and the Nets were swept by the Raptors. But from start to finish in his sixth pro campaign, Joe was extremely productive for the Nets, shooting the seventh highest three point percentage in the NBA. He posted 33 points combined in the two 2020 playoff games he played in, making seven of his 12 three-point shots. Given that Durant and Irving are back next year, Harris is going to be a marksman spacing out defenses for those guys, and Joe should be able to do a pretty good job of that, given he led the league in three-point percentage back in 2018-19, and this past year saw him put up a career high in scoring, so he's got a chance to make the fully healthy Snake and Uncle Drew-led Nets pretty damn scary in 2021. Number five, George Hill. Milwaukee's backup point guard would have ranked first, but after posting a league-leading 46% mark from three-point range during the regular season for the first-seeded Bucks, Hill's production completely fell off in the 2020 playoffs, where he made just 10 of his 28 three-point attempts. That was a minus 11% decrease on his three-point percentage tally from the regular season. I talked about Giannis's meltdown in my Top 10 Chokers video. I'll leave a link in the description for that, but it's clear that George Hill 
also let fans in Milwaukee down big time. Number four, Kyle Korver. Unlike George Hill, you can't say that the three-point specialist and one of the greatest long-range shooters in history, Kyle Korver, came up short of Bucks fans' expectations. With his team struggling, Korver dropped in a blistering 48.6% of his three-pointers in Milwaukee's five-game series loss to Miami. The now 39-year-old Kyle ranked 10th in 2019 23-point percentage, but because of how Korver produced in the postseason and the fact that in NBA history, he's the 10th most efficient three-point shooter ever is enough to rank the Bucks' wing as the fourth best sniper in 2020. Number three, Seth Curry. While Korver's the 10th most efficient three-point shooter of all time, Seth Curry's shockingly even ahead of his brother and holds the second highest percentage from distance ever. But we're strictly looking at what these players did in 2020. And for Dallas, Seth was fittingly the third most efficient three-point shooter during the regular season, and he followed that up by putting up the 11th best three-point percentage during the playoffs, converting nearly half of his deep-range attempts throughout the Mavericks' six-game series loss to the Clippers. Curry capped off the most efficient season of his seven-year career by proving he's one of the best floor spacers the NBA has to offer. Number two, J.J. Redick. 2019-20 was the first season since the 15-year man Redick's rookie year that he was on a non-playoff team. His Zion-led Pelicans were given every shot to sneak in there, but despite J.J.'s team being too young to get into the top eight of their conference, he still provided the excessive and efficient three-point bombs like his typical shooting self. The veteran marksman shot a blistering 45.3% from deep range, which was good enough for second best in 2019-20. It's been nearly two decades where Reddick's been one of the best sharpshooters in the world, and I hope when after he finishes his final year under contract with the Pelicans in 2021, that we see him compete for a championship to close out his career. He really deserves one. Before number one, honorable mention to Doug McDermott, and despite ranking fifth in three-point percentage during the regular season, the college basketball legend Dougie McBuckets would have ranked in the top five to six of this list, but doesn't qualify because he shot two of 10 from three-point range in a series where his team got swept, and how these snipers produced in the playoffs was highly taken into account for this list. Number one, Duncan Robinson. Maybe you saw the former Division III college basketball player recently compete in the NBA Finals, but Robinson not only was the top three-point shooter of these playoffs, as his floor spacing significantly contributed to his team winning the conference, but during the 73 games he played in in the regular season, Duncan was the fourth most efficient three-point shooter in the entire NBA. D-Rob's 6'7 frame allows him to shoot over anyone, and coming off stagger screens and pin downs, there was simply no better player at catching and shooting than this man. Considering Robinson shot about 40% from three-point range in the playoffs, taking over seven threes per game proves that he could be one of the better three-point shooters for a very long time. Because Duncan just finished his sophomore campaign in the NBA and is just 26 years old. As he gets more pro seasons under his belt, I expect Robinson to get even better, something basketball fans in South Beach should be very excited about.